Uh, welcome back friends. This is more concept session 2 and today I'm going to teach about the amount of a substance. Amount of substance represented as, as N. So amount of a substance uh, N. Amount of substance in other words we can say number of moles. Uh, number of moles we measure the amount of substance by number of moles denoted as small n so number of moles kuna njia mbalimbali za calculate lakini simply we are saying number of moles uh, number of moles of a substance n number of moles of substance n the mass of a sample of a substance is the mass of sample of a substance divided by molar mass of that substance. So number of moles is the mass mass of sample of a substance substance divided in by the number uh, the molar mass of a substance ambayo kipindi kichopita tulisha ona jinsi gani kwa kweti mola mass ya substance kwa hiyo number of moles n is equal to m divided by mola mass mr in the formula yetu ya kwa kweti ya number of moles lakini formula tuite formula number moja so where m is the mass of substance mass of substance of mRNA molar mass of substance kwa unezo kwa unapo jizike namba puna kwa kweti namba of moles kwa hiyo kwa mfano kwa mfano mpewa examples examples what is the amount of substance in what is the amount of substance what is the amount of substance in a 180 grams of carbon 180 grams of carbon usipo ambio ni carbon ngapi hii manakita kwa ni carbon 12 so amount is equal to mass divided by molar mass Uh, hii itakuwa sana 180 grams mola masi ya kabuni ngapi kuna mbili gram pa pa mola kwa toka hapo manaki unakuwa misha pata miya thimani ganyo kumina mbili utapata n is equal to kumina tano moles kwa hiyo ndo amount kutasama the amount of the substance the amount of a substance is kumnatano moles haya kwa mfano unaweza kuulizwa swali so, nili what is the amount of the substance in labda 180 grams of carbon dioxide na you see ni kwamba grams imekuwa zile zile ila tumbadilisha nini molecule so molar mass itabadilika uh, molar mass of carbon dioxide itakuwa sana ngapi 12 plus 16 mara 2 that is equal to 49 gram per mole amount of substance n is also sana mass ganya kwa molar mass toka hapo mass ta kwa ngapi 180 ganya kwa molar mass ambayo ni 49 gram per mole tukija kupata amount of substance ni 4.09 mole unaona ukujui ilikuwa 15 hapo 4.09 so iko mass za vitu kitu kile kile zinaweza kawa zina amount of substance tofauti tofauti kulingana na uh, na molar mass hizo substance kuwa zina tofauti ana kwa hiyo molar mass substance ndio ambayo greatly na affect amount of the substance sio mass kwa mass zinaweza kawa zinafanana lakini amount of substance inaweza zikawa hazifanani 
onto substance inaweza kuwa hazifana. Kwa kwa mfano umpea swali. Umpea swali sana. Find the mass of each of the foreign substance. Find the mass of each of the following substance uh, the following substance uh, of a umepewa 2.4 mole of sodium hydroxide of sodium hydroxide kwa hiyo hapo unachokuja kusema ni kwamba data given uh, data given kwanza unaandika solution then data given data given umepewa number of moles n ni sawa sana 2.4 moles then to assume from uh, from number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass okay make subject mass itakuja sana number of moles times molar mass au uh, itakuja mass is equal to number of moles times mr so kwa lugha nyingine maana yake mass itakuwa sana number of moles ambayo ni 2.4 na mola masa sodium hydroxide ni 40 forte gram per mole 40 nimeipataje mola mass of sodium hydroxide sawa sana 23 kujumlisha oxygen ambayo ni 16 jumlisha hydrogen ambayo ni 1 so 23 kujumlisha 16 jumlisha 1 utapata ni 40 gram per mole so therefore mass itakuwa sana ukizidisha kwa mara 2.4 uh, ni mara nne hapo ni 16 ni mara 16 ni mara 2 ni 8 na hiyo moja tisa so nitakuwa ni 96 na sita kwa sababu hiyo zero maana yake itakuja kwa hivi afu hiyo hapo itakuwa ni gram so mass of the substance itakuwa sana 96 na sita grams hiyo ndio itakuwa mass ya 2.4 mol of sodium hydroxide kwa ni ile ile formula yetu ya number of moles una inani hapo na unaweza kuulizwa saa kwa mfano hapo maswali yako ni mengi Masuala kuna mengi na uta, utaona tu kwenye notes. Kwa mfano unaweza kupewa labda unaweza kupewa 0.780 mol of calcium cyanide. Calcium cyanide. So unaweza kusema kwamba calcium cyanide kwa kama kawaida kuna kwetu mola masafu ile pale mola masafu calcium cyanide itakuwa calcium ni 40 jumlisha carbon ni 12 jumlisha nitrogen uh, nitrogen ni 14 then unazidisha mara mbili so 40 12 na 14 hapo itakuwa 26 26 na mara mbili hapo itakuwa 40 plus 26 na mara mbili ni 52 mbili. so 40 plus 52 hapo utapata ni 92 g per mole so number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass mass divided by molar mass na kutoka hapo tukitaka kupata mass ni sawa sana number of moles times molar mass times molar mass so mass itakuwa sana a uh, mass itakuwa sana number of moles ambayo ni 0.78 mara 92 a gram per mole hizi hapa zilikuwa ni mole hapa ni gram per mole kwa mole hapa na mole hapa zitabaki gram unit yake kwa hapo unazidisha kama kawaida 92 92.78 hapo nane mara 2.16 nane mara 9 Uh, 8 matiza ni 72 ile moja itakuwa 73 72 19 79 ile moja itakuwa 64 kwa itakuwa ni 6 hapo ni 7 hapo ni 11 hapo ni ni 7 so 7176 this one press by ni mbili so mass of substance itakuwa sana ngapi 71.76 grams hapo na kuja na conclude to therefore uh, the mass of the substance in mass of the substance of the substance mass of the substance na malizia hapo mass of the substance in 0.78 mol of calcium cyanide uh, is 71.76 grams. Kwa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo hiyo ni njia ya kwanza kwa kweti a uh, number of moles of the substance, number of moles of the substance. Na naishia hapo kwenye video, uh, naishia hapo kwenye video na kwenye video nafuata tutaangalia njia nyingine mbili za kwa kweti amount of the substance.
ambao tutaangalia jinsi ya kutumia number of particles au avogadro's number na avogadro's law jinsi gani unaweza kutumia avogadro's law na ukatumia number of particles kuka kwetu number of moles so what thing you need to remember in this video number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass na hapo unaweza kupewa chochote ile parameter then ukaambia uko kwetu so if you are given mass you can be asked to calculate the number of moles a uh, number of moles and if you are given number of moles n you can be asked to calculate the mass molar mass is known kama vitu discuss jinsi ya kuketi molar mass kwenye previous video thank you everybody did i wish you nice studies subscribe to the channel for more updates in chemistry biology physics and mathematics did i wish you nice studies